Yeah. So first of all, thank you all very much for coming. It's been lovely having you all here, and it's been a nice, exciting exhibition, and we've loved doing this. And before we start, I should also say thank you to Paul, who is the guy who's really set this whole thing up and curated the exhibition. So let's round the Thank you guys for coming. And then this piece here is very interesting. It's not just a wonderful artwork, uh, this golden baby floating over a crystal, but in this there's also what you could call the first proof of concept of a new technology. There's a little chip in here, and we put it in the back here on the shoulder. Now this chip has got a unique link to an NFT. So I hope you all know what NFTs are on the blockchain. But well, what that means is this artwork has got a perfect authentication. It's literally connected directly to the blockchain. So the artwork can be proven to be what it is through this connection, but more important than that, it also proves ownership of the artwork. So you can you know exactly who owns this. So you can't even sell it, you can't even steal this. Only the owner can pass on the ownership to the next owner. So this represents an unforgeable and an unstealable artwork. Now you, you might think you could just rip out the chip and put a new one in, but you can't do that. If you do that, it would need a new NFT, and then you'd have to start a whole new ownership trail, and all, you, all you'd be doing is proving that it does not connect to the original artist or the original gallery. So you can't take the chip out. This is very, very interesting. And the, the connection between this chip and the NFT, you can't hack it. You might think, well, I could hack this connection and play around. You can't. Thank to Nicholas here as the inventor. The cryptography is super, super clever. It's called post-quantum cryptography. So it's future-proof. Essentially, it's future-proof. Now, there's a lot of things we could do with this chip. And I'll, I'll tell you two more that are very interesting. You can imagine a car. If you use this chip in a car, you couldn't steal the car. Only the owner of the car would have access to the car through this NFT. So you'd have to be the owner of this NFT to get in and drive the car. So you couldn't steal the car because you're not the owner. You can't do anything. Only the owner has access to it. Um, so not only can you authenticate an artwork, you can authenticate any high value asset. And even more interesting than that, once you realize you can authenticate a piece of art, a car, or anything, you can also authenticate a human being. You can actually create an identity card with this chip, and only you would have access to this. So it's very interesting, because now we've got digital identities coming, but these all go to a centralized database, a centralized government, and these guys can do whatever they like. This chip represents a new freedom technology. Only you would have access to it. No one else can get in. So you can think of it as a self-sovereign identity card. So this is the future where this could go. And this answers a lot of big problems, because now we've got identity theft, you can steal your identity, people can do all sorts of things. Now you've got AI deep fakes, you don't even know if you're talking to the same person, who you're seeing or hearing. But all you need to do if this chip was active is say, well look, send me a text from your phone proving that it's you, I've got it here. And only the person who has access to the chip will be able to do that. So it solves a lot of big problems in the future. So that's why this could be very historic. But at the moment, I hope you sort of get the idea that this is quite a clever technology and that we've embedded it into the artwork itself. So not only is this a piece of art, it's also a piece of quite interesting technology. And I'm going to get Nicholas to demonstrate it for you, show you how it works. So in order to do that, I'm going to take the baby off. I don't want to touch it with my bare hands. So I'm going to just go into front. You don't know what's been. And um, Nicholas, you've got your phone. Do you want so the way this works, <laughs> and again, you see, you might think, well, it's blockchain, we need the internet. But actually, you don't even need the internet. This thing works completely off chain. How much airplane mode? Yeah. You've got NFC. Yes, it's an right. NFC chip. Right. NFC chip connected to an NFT. Yeah. And it's a unique one to one, higher level cryptogra cryptographic connection. Yeah. So let's have a little go. Let me show you how this works. Let me show you how it works. So you can see here now, we've embedded the chip in the back. And this is a bit like a, a, a plaque, so you can put a signature on that. And Nicholas is going to sign it in a minute because he's also the son of the artist, so it's relevant that he signs it. But he's also the inventor of the chip. So not only are we signing the artwork, we're also signing the chip here. So look, Nicholas, show us how it works. So you scan the chip, you just touch it to your phone, and it takes a few seconds there, and what it does, let me show you in a second. It, it authenticates first of all. There you go, and then you get the green light, it's a real chip. 
And then when you click on it, what, what you'll get is all the details of the NFT. So you'll see who the owner is, etc., etc. And what you'll have on this chip is a complete record of the art's provenance. You'll be able to look at all the owners from the beginning, who's got it, who's got it. So it'll go on for the rest of time. And that's why you can't take this off, because you'll be starting all over again and proving, well, it didn't go back to the original artist. All you've done is prove that you've stolen it. So once you put the chip in, it's done. So Nicholas, how about signing it next? So you've got the pen handy. Excuse me, and, um, what about if someone physically steals it? Well, you still and then steal it in their basement. and sell it for cash on the black market, but you can never show it. Can you find out where they are? What do you think of my Well, now, that's another good question. In time, we could actually work this out. In time? Well, you put a GPS tracker in here, you still be able to trace ah, where the artwork okay. goes. You put it in a lead line room. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't matter. Deep it's enough. Good. You don't it's 30 feet down. <laughs> no, never find it again. Someone takes so, it. <laughs> well, this is early days, but you're going to hear a lot more about this, so I'm going to be posting okay. more about this as we develop this technology. Okay. But this is the very first artwork to encase this, so it's in itself a piece of history. Mm -hmm. So Paul, if I don't mind you getting coming a bit closer so we can actually film, because what we're going to do, this film of Nicholas signing it is evidence that Nicholas has signed it, and he's the son of the artist to prove that it is. That video is going to go on the NFT that connects to this chip. So when you scan the chip, you'll have evidence of the signature being put on it. So you've got double, triple verification all the time. So let's see if, uh, can you get that come out for us so you can actually oh, see the signature happening. Make sure you get it. Lovely. And then get a close up of the signature. So we can got it, you can see it. It's Done. here. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, that's it. A round of applause. Thank you very much. How do we know Nicolas is the son of the artist? <laughs> 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 <laughs>